a very good morning we have finished 1.4 chapter children are going to school question answers today we are going to go for 1.5 a kabaddi match we are going to solve the question answer of that chapter but before that i'll just tell you the summary of that chapter and then we'll go for meanings and question answers here yeah, this lesson is about kabaddi it is an out sports outdoor sports which is originated in india and it is now popular in many other countries of the world this lesson begins with a school sports meet through which rules and strategies of the game are shared with the reader and this lesson also highlights the qualities displayed by the winning team as well as they have a team spirit confidence right strategies swiftness and suppleness this lesson also goes on to talk about the rules of the game and ends with the qualities essential to excel in this game so many of the student uh, the children those who were playing in this the 9th and 9th b students they were there they were playing very well so now we'll go for the meanings as well as the question answers see here it is given and kabaddi is in the sport is it is originated in india and has now become popular in many countries so that many international events are organized in these events international rules are followed but several other kabaddi styles such as sanjeevni gamini amar etc followed in different parts of india that means these are the names given in different parts of the india what they call for kabaddi the sanjeevni gamini amar so here the kabaddi is a team of seven members each face each other in a flat rectangular court see how is the court it is a rectangular court the shape and the size of the court and it is divided in the middle line it is usually played in two halves yeah just will now go for this the game kabaddi requires good health muscular strength strategic skills lot of practice and above all all great determination indian girls and boys have always excelled at kabaddi they are always good at kabaddi and when you would like to be a kabaddi player when you are little older who knows if you make a resolve now one day you know, it may help you to win the glory for your school district or even the state and the country so here yeah. first we'll go for the meanings of this chapter then we'll go for the question answers okay. your meanings are not given but i'll just tell you scheduled scheduled means arranged to happen at a particular time that means when we schedule a meeting that means we arrange a meeting at a particular time outstanding excellent outstanding excellent spectators means one a, a, a person who is watching an event or a game spectator means a person who is watching an event boost the moral of the team boost the moral of the team means make the team feel more confident ace a c e a s a s means very good grip grip means tight hold lona l o n a lona means extra points outplayed means well played suppleness ability to bend and move easily suppleness means ability to bend and move easily inhale means to breathe in resolve means to take a firm decision resolve means to take a firm decision swiftness swift means swiftness means moving with a rapid speed literally means exactly anti raiders anti raiders means every player in whose court raid is being played anti raiders means every player in whose court raid is being played 
determination determination means firmness determination means firmness so now we'll go for the question answers form pairs make a list as many games as you can at least 10 25 then classify the games using the following criteria so for we'll write first the names of the games and then we'll divide them into indoor games or and outdoor games first we'll write the list of the games here bowling billiards diving squash archery boxing badminton volleyball cricket basketball table tennis golf chess hockey wrestling gymnast judo karate boxing weightlifting soccer kung fu kho kho swimming now we'll classify these games into indoor and outdoor see your next question that is indoor and outdoor games so first i'll tell you all indoor games billiards bowling boxing chess gymnast judo karate kung fu squash swimming table tennis weight lifting wrestling these i were these were your indoor games now we'll go for outdoor games which are played outside the house or in the lawn or anyway archery cricket diving golf hockey tennis volleyball kho kho these were your outdoor games now games played with and without equipments now which are the games which you play with equipments and without equipments that means using some things to play which are the games which are played with equipments so here are the games played with equipments equipments the things which you use to play the things which can be uh, played with some things cricket you need bat ball these are your equipments hockey again you need a hockey stick and a ball basketball you need that basket and a ball to play with it etc and without equipment without anything used that is kabaddi wrestling swimming kabaddi you don't need anything to play wrestling also nothing no equipments swimming also nothing etc next games which have one to one matches and those in which teams play against each other single player or team now over here games which have one to one matches and those in which teams play against each other single player or team now over here games games that is we can say one to one one to one we play with wrestling boxing that means one opposite each other wrestling boxing chess that means two members only one to one and teams that is cricket football hockey etc again i'll say one to one we play only wrestling boxing chess etc and team that is cricket football hockey etc now games played mostly by children and games played by adults the games which are played by children are blind man's puff that means you tie your eyes and then play cops and robbers dodgeball four square high spy leap frog pick up sticks ring to ring ro- ring a ring a roses again i'll repeat children played games played by the children blind man's puff cops and robbers dodgeball four square i spy leap frog pick up sticks ring a ring a roses 
now over here games played by adults chess snooker hockey cricket badminton football polo billiards again games played by adults chess snooker hockey cricket badminton football polo billiards next shape and size of the coat how is the shape and the size of the coat now before that i read a passage for you how is the shape of the coat so the shape of the coat is rectangular for the basketball and size it is 26 meter in length and 40 meter in width and for boxing the shape of the coat is square and the ring should not be less than 12 feet or more than 20 feet so here use the following figures to your classification this you will do it by your own now note down the names of the players and say whether each one belongs to 9th a or b now you have to search for 9th a students and 9th b students and you have to write down the names so names for the 9th a are govin mangesh soham vivek and players for the 9th b were suresh ravi mohan vinod ajinkya mihir players from 9th a govin mangesh soham vivek players from 9th b suresh ravi mohan vinod ajinkya mihir describe in your own words the important events in the first half now what happened in the first half the match began with the 9th a winning the toss then they sent the raider govind who touched suresh from 9b and scored a point then 9b sent the raider is clear ravi ravi wrestled down mangesh he was a very strong player from 9th a as well as mangesh saved himself and he scored 3 points from his team as ravi mohan and ajinkya who were holding him were declared out then mihir from 9th b managed to tag soham from 9th a after this came vivek's raid then the remaining three players from 9th b caught his arm and tried to pull him back but he went across the middle line with the anti raiders hanging on to his arm thus the whole of 9b team was declared out now over here just choose any one of the event and draw a diagram to show what happened it is your this you can draw the diagram and write list all the words specially used in the name of kabaddi now i showed you guys names that is gaimi and all that you can write that in those names which were named as kabaddi from the internet or the other sources find other names of which kabaddi is known as in different parts of the world next that is here yeah, there is uh, some language study degrees of comparison we'll go for this positive degrees just here we are we use different forms of adjectives and adverbs to show comparison they are known as degrees of comparison positive mangesh was as strong as ravi she is as tall as a sister this is positive degree as strong as tall as comparative mangesh was stronger than the other players she is taller than her sister superlative Mangesh was the strongest player in the team. Their sister is the tallest among the three. Next, that is complete these following statements and this is using your own ideas. Now you have to do that. First one, the princess was as dash as this dash. Now here you have to fill the positive degree. First one, the princess was as You can write prettier, P R, or oh, sorry, the princess was as delicate as a flower. 
you write the princess was as delicate as a flower next it is comparative degree the princess was prettier than her sisters the princess was prettier than her sisters next the princess was the most beautiful among amongst all the women in the country the princess was the most beautiful amongst all the women in the country that is superlative degree now just see here the examples note that we usually add er est to short adjectives and more or most to the longer adjectives see examples high higher highest nice nicer nicest attractive more attractive most attra attractive interesting more interesting most interesting now the for read the following words and then the degrees of comparison shown by each good better best bad worse worst so i'll give you some more that is you can say uh, swift swifter swiftest strong stronger strongest great greater greatest mighter mighty mighter mightest popular more popular most popular successful more successful most successful so dear children if you have written the question answers well and good if not please write it down thank you have a great day